Hey, this is Dana, and thank you for following my journeys here. Uh, today, I'm working on a 99 Mercury Cougar. Yeah, it's my daughter's car, and she said she had a whining under the hood, of course. And uh, come to find out, you know, you, you think it maybe it's pulleys, or she had it taken to some place, and they said it was power steering. And uh, you really can't tell until you pull the power power steer or the uh, serpentine belt off to really start feeling and finding what what might be the cause. Um, and my in this case, the cause is an alternator. The bearing is shot. The uh, uh, the case was cracked. So um, I searched around for uh, a used one. I really don't recommend getting used ones. Maybe a remanufactured one. But at least have some, you know, warranty on it that you can get it replaced. So, uh, uh, in, uh, unfortunately, the alternator on this one is down up underneath the the motor. So you have to work quite a bit under the under the motor to get to where you want to be. And uh, I found uh, uh, the easiest way to get to it is to uh, take the wheel off and then take the uh, shroud cover off uh, disconnect the tie rod and you can get you can get in there uh, to a point where you can uh, do a little bit with the the bolts and then uh, you can turn it and it'll it'll slide out and that's going to be the way it's going back in um, it's just a it can be a pain in the butt but uh, I found that was the easiest way to uh, uh, get it out and uh thank god i got small small hands so i can get in there and uh do what i need to do um here's a quick uh shot of where that um other one goes it's uh right up in here and uh right on the back side um just above the uh your uh uh cv cv shaft and unfortunately it's a really bad spot because when your crank seal starts to leak, it starts blowing oil back down on it. So it's uh, probably one of the main main reasons it uh, it fails because uh, it gets uh, it gets pretty coked up with uh, oil. And uh, other than that, um, it's a uh, um, it's just one of them jobs that uh, you've got to be patient with and. Uh, I not cuss too much about, but anyway, uh, I'll let you know how it how it goes. Um, it was uh, when I got it, it was squealing. It was squealing really bad uh, to a point where uh, you know the neighbors were looking as you were going down the road. So, uh, uh, but she was still getting, uh, it was still charging the battery and everything. So uh, it wasn't a total failure. But uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes.